When patients are old and weak, doctors can be faced with some delicate problems. The doctors around this table have all been through such situations, but they couldn't easily tell the whole truth in public about how they've acted, in case this betrayed confidences or exposed them to legal action, as can happen in a matter of life and death. So to get as near as possible to the truth, they've been asked to respond to a hypothetical case. The moderator is Professor Charles Nesson of Harvard Law School. Dr. Dunwoody, Dora is a patient of yours. You've known her over the years. She's now 75. You've known her as a proud woman, self-reliant. She doesn't have much family, unmarried daughter that lives somewhere off in the distance. You've received a call about her. Apparently, she was found wandering about the town in the very early morning hours. And when asked what was she doing, she said, uh, I'm going out shopping. And you've now come to see her. You look over her flat. You're worried. It's a mess. Food left about. You talk with her. She complains to you about moments of forgetfulness that have been increasing in her life. She looks worried. What are you going to do? What are you going to look at? I'm going to check her general condition. I'm going to try and assess her mental state, her emotional state, her nutritional state, whether she's anemic. I'm wondering really whether she's becoming a little bit senile. A little bit senile? A bit arteriosclerotic. What do you mean by senile? I mean that she's beginning to experience the changes that are inevitable eventually with old age. Just I mean, regular old age, or are you a little worried about well, I'm, dementia? I'm, I'm a little worried at this stage, yes. It's difficult to distinguish, particularly as people get older and older. And after you talk to her for a while, you're more worried. Mm -hmm. And she says to you at the end of your inquiry, what do you think, Doctor? Am I all right? I think you need a little bit of help. I don't think you're managing very well now, are you? I mean, you're not doing as well as you were a year or two ago. Well, let us suppose that on your inquiry, you come away suspecting that she may be coming demented. Mm. That is, that her brain tissue is actually deteriorating. Mm. Do you consider going for a specialist at that point, too? assure yourself of the diagnosis? Yes, I think I would. I think there are other things I'd do as well. I mean, she may be as she is because she hasn't been eating very well. And if this is the case, then quite possibly the Meals on Wheels service will do more What do you do about the her. fact that she's scared? She's an old lady and she's yeah. frightened. She needs some company, probably. I'd try and get in touch, perhaps, with this, this one relative she has. I'd the ask, daughter, off a ways. Mm, I'd ask asked my patient, you know, where her daughter lived. Was she on the phone? Would she mind if I contacted her? Not at all. Mm. Well, I'll, I'll give her a ring this evening and tell her I've been in to see you. Here I am. I'm the daughter. Mm -hmm. Hello, doctor. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. Hear you from you again. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen you in years. No. Why are you calling? I, I'm a little bit worried about your mother. Oh, really? Is something wrong? No, I don't think there's anything wrong, but... You Nothing know, wrong? Oh, I'm no, so glad. No, she's... she's... <laughs> she's... She's, you know, she's 75 now, she's on her own, and, and she was picked up in the early hours of the morning out in the streets last night. I, mean, uh, I don't think she's look, capable of looking after herself. She's not eating very well.